Hello everyone, it's a new AD Carry. I know you probably have lots of questions, so I've decided to make a video, everything G2 related, where you can hear about my thoughts of the team, my worries, my teammates that I always wanted to play with. It's, uh, it's, uh, it's a spicy one, so please stay on for the entire thing. And if you have any more questions, just type them down below and I'll try my best to answer them. So the first question, obviously, that comes to every fan's mind. Mm. Um, why such a big change and why did you choose G2 as your new home? For me it was basically crystal clear, like the last, uh, the last couple of times I, I tried to get a trophy, G2 were always in my way and at some point I realized they're probably always going to be in my way, so since I would like to have a couple of trophies as well and I would love to increase my chance of winning Worlds, I think G2 is a perfect place to be. I feel like their ambition to just always be on top of things, like ever since they joined the LEC or the LCS back in 2016, they've always been in some way or the other, like just a really good team and a really good brand. So I think once they asked me, it was a no brainer, honestly, like it was just like, I was super happy to actually get the opportunity. And uh, it also feels, like a lot of fun to be able to play with Caps again or Rasmus again. I uh, have two, two years together with him and I always felt like we were like a really strong carry duo um, where he was the more crazy aggressive one and I was more like the consistent, consistent safer one where we could like uh, complement each other pretty well in this. So I'm super excited to play with him again. And also I played with Jankos, two All-Stars and I had a really good impression of him when we played together there and I Always kind of wanted to see how it was to play together with him on a team. So now that uh, I have the chance, that's also like giving me a lot of, yeah, a lot of excitement and happiness. Uh, Mickey, he was our sub back in 2016. I really wanted to get him for the 2016 roster, but he was without experience at all back then, I think. So uh, we didn't feel like it was the correct choice to just put him in the like the, in the main team straight away and he was our sub instead for that spring season and then he went on to Splice and later Misfits and now G2 and he's just been like rocking it ever since so it's also super exciting to play with him because he is basically the best support there is in Europe. I know Hilo Sang is coming to a close second, maybe even himself being the first and Miki being the second but I feel very privileged to be able to go from like one of the best supports to another one of the best supports and yeah, get nurtured under these guys and learn so much under these guys. It's um, yeah, a very privileged thing of mine, I think, to be able to to see what they go for. And uh, for Wunder, I guess I've never really, I never really talked to the guy like that. Uh, we're on complete opposite sides of the map, so we never really interact like that. But he remi reminds me a lot about Soas actually, where he. He so like silently every game finds use. I, I cannot explain or put my finger on what exactly he does right, but I always found it so so cool to see how someone can like yeah go unnoticed for like 20 minutes of the game and then all of a sudden be like yeah just carrying it by himself or be super fed or have like an extreme lane lead or something. He just like yeah without without getting noticed he does something in the game always and it's it's. Uh, it's cool to see. I think that's exactly what top laners need to do and reminds me a lot about Soas actually. I am not really worried about the playing part. I know we're going to be a really good team and we're all really good players, but obviously there's a little bit of worry in, in terms of how we fit in socially with the team or culturally because I'm so used to now how we do things in Fnatic that maybe it's gonna be like a polar opposite how they do things in G2 and I don't want to come in and change anything because obviously their recipe of success, like their recipe is a recipe of success. So I want to come in and be myself for sure because I know now what I need to do to succeed. I have my ways of, of doing me, but I don't want to come in and change the team in itself. I just want to yeah, try my best to be myself so they can learn over time how to integrate that to, to the team, but also be there to listen and to learn because I know whatever they have done up until this point has been something very good. So I want to try to join in on that and, and try to follow as much as possible to see yeah, how, I can, how I can help in, in this roster.
do you consider yourself a natural leader or is this something that you get comfortable with over time mm. i mean right now someone will have to take the duties mm. so i i think i'm not the typical leader in the sense that i will have speeches and maybe talk the most in the room or take the most space in the room i think i'm much more the quiet guy or the one that maybe potentially then leads by example instead by working really hard and always having like a consistently good performance and a consistently good mood in the team. But I don't think I'll be the same leader Luca was. So hopefully the fans don't expect that because I don't want it to be an unfair, unfair situation to them or to myself where I'm supposed to be him, basically. I think everyone have to hear, me included, have to realize that it's going to be a bit differently. And it doesn't have to be for the worse. It can be not even for the better, actually, it can just be different. That's that's completely fine, I think. And uh, yeah, hopefully everyone's just OK with giving it some time. I don't think it's going to be like from day one, everything's great. There are going to be issues for sure. There are issues in every team. Um, but as long as the intentions are good, I think it doesn't matter if you have the patience to just let it you know, work itself out. Your limited champion pool was always kind of in the way. And this yep. is also where it comes that maybe you're not as flexible as like let's say G2 community expects mm. players to be because we're famous for doing yeah. crazy stuff. Mm. So what shall we see here? <laughs> so I think I actually worked quite a bit on this the last couple of years. I realized after Caps left or even when I played with him that one of the things that made him so good at the game was that he knew every champion in the game. So if you told him like, hey, play this champion, he'd be like, oh yeah, I played this already in solo queue at this time and I did this and I did that. And it was always like, he knows exactly what he's talking about every time. And then you'd ask me and I'd be like, yeah, I played these 20, 80 carries and then I have no idea about anything else. So at that point I realized I have to learn other things as well. I think, I, I think since then, like the last three years or so, I've been quite good actually at like learning new champions and like expanding my champion pool or showing that I can do more things. But I still have this specific mindset, I guess, where I will, like if, if let's say I think something is good, but maybe the meta isn't that, I will still stand strong for my opinion and still want to play that. I don't think I will like sway so easily and just follow what everyone, what everyone else wants to do. Like sometimes I will stand for myself and, and believe in you know myself and my my opinion but yeah i think i've just found a finer line here now where i can still do my own thing but also play more champions and more have more variety in what i offer one of our main strategies historically has been if you don't know what you're doing the opponents don't want <laughs> don't know what you're doing i mean obviously that's a joke yeah. but in the many times it's a lot of like organized chaos yeah so are you ready for it I think I am. As an AD carry anyways, it's like a lot about following your teammates. I don't think you are necessarily the one to make the initiative moves. I think you are much more the ones that like the one that is supposed to follow and the one that is supposed to help your teammates. So I think if the team wants to play crazy, I'll play crazy. If the team wants to play slow, I'll play slow because that is my role in the game. And I don't think it has to be necessarily tied to the champions you play. I don't think it has to be that I play a different champ every game because that is crazy. I think crazy can be you playing the same champion 10 games straight, but every game is a little bit different depending on what your team wants to do, what matchup you have, what the game plan is. Like there's a lot of different things that can happen regardless if you're changing champion or not. So I think it's not necessarily about here coming in and playing every match in the game, every AD carry in the game, maybe some guy in Yumi again. It's not about this. I think it's about me being open-minded and kind of what I mentioned earlier, like being able to yeah, come in and listen and learn this recipe of success that G2 has created with this roster specifically and just try to fit myself in there somewhere because I still want to also remember that like I've you know I have also been a part of this league scene now for like eight or nine years or so so I should use that as well I shouldn't come in and basically pretend like I'm a rookie I should come in and still have you know an opinion and yeah use my experience to our advantage and people, I feel like they see you as a little more serious guy. Yeah, yeah. So can we expect you to loosen up a little? Mm, I think this question is hard. And this is the only worry I really have of joining the team. As I mentioned earlier, like I know play is going to be good. My teammates are 
yeah, they're great. <laughs> I don't have to talk about them more. Uh, and I think I am a great player too. So when it comes to the game, I know we're going to be fine. But I am worried about what you're mentioning now with maybe me being more of a serious guy, quieter guy, maybe not the leader that you expect, like not basically perks. I, I think these obstacles will be the hard ones to overcome, like learning how I function differently, how maybe, yeah, to loosen up a little bit more. Like these things are the hard tasks I think I have in front of me, which is why it feels okay, I guess, because I know the play part will work, so I can put all of my efforts into like, yeah, integrating together with the team, working on my synergy together with Mickey, re reigniting, I guess, my synergy together with Caps and finally having the opportunity to play with Jankos and Wunder. I think it's a lot of things I can focus on that are a lot of fun and then like a new, new area for me. I think it's like a really challenging and potentially very fun year yeah, in front of me. I think it's like gonna be quite different from, from the past, but it, it's yeah making it a lot more exciting than I think just going into another year, focusing on play all the time, because I, I think at this point, it's not about play anymore. If we wanna succeed here in Europe, I realize now that everyone's really good at the game already. So you don't need to like, you don't need to think that this is the deciding factor always. I think it can also be how you function as a team, how you communicate, how like how much you trust each other, these kind of things that are more generic, I guess, that I, I feel like will be much, much more of a focus point in this team for me. So there is a theoretical chance that fans are gonna hear you join the team singing in the voice calls. <laughs> yeah, it depends on what song we're singing, but I will, I will chip in if I know. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching. As I mentioned earlier, if you have any more questions, please just type them below and I'll do my best to answer them. And thank you so much as well for your warm welcome to the team. I'm super excited to be here for the next couple of seasons and hopefully we can get more trophies than you already have.